Hello everyone! Welcome to Cradle Roll Sabbath School! I'm sorry that we can't be together over this time, but we thought it would be a good idea to bring Cradle Roll Sabbath School to you, wherever you are. I hope and pray that you are all well and safe over this time, and I look forward to doing Sabbath School with you, no matter where you are in the world. So, as those of you who attend Cradle Roll Sabbath School know, our programmes last for a month. So this programme that we are performing today would have been our programme for April if we had been together. So, we thought it would be a good idea to record it, the songs and the stories and the prayer time, so that you could do this at home with your family. Now, some of you may not have the props at home, but try and find something that you can use for each of the songs. And feel free to pause this program at any time if there's anything you need or if you need to have a break. You don't even have to keep this for Sabbath. You can use this at any time whenever you want to. So, let's start our Sabbath school together. Now, I wonder if you can guess what our first song is today. I'm going to give you a clue. You need something that makes this noise. What do you think that could be? What do you think it is? I know, it's some bells. Now, I wonder if you can find something at home, either some bells or something that makes a similar noise so that we can sing Ring-a-ling-a-ling -a together. Okay, go and get your bells and let's go sing our song. Have you got your bells ready? Are you ready to make a loud ringing noise so that the whole neighbourhood hears you? Because it's time to ring our Sabbath bells. Let's sing Ring-a-ling-a-ling. -a -ling. Ready? Ring-a-ling-a-ling, ring-a-ling-a-ling, -a -ling, ring -a -ling -a -ling. Sabbath bells are ringing. job. I'm sure you rang your bells really loudly, but I wonder if we can be even louder with our Sabbath bells. So I want you to ring them really loudly this time so that I might be able to hear them from where I am. Shall we try again? Are you ready? <laughs> I could definitely hear some bells that time. Very good job. Now it's time to put our bells away because we're going to be singing our next song. Now I wonder if you can tell me, what day do we normally meet to go to Sabbath school? Is it a Monday? Is it a Wednesday? What day of the week is it? I'm sure some of you said, it's Saturday. We come together at church on Saturday. And what day is Saturday? Can you think what we call it? I think we call it Sabbath. And we come together at church on Sabbath. Now, this Sabbath is a sad day, like it is at the moment that I can't see you. Sabbath's not a sad day, is it? Sabbath is a happy day. And we are going to be singing Sabbath is a happy day. Now, normally in Cradle Roll, we use clappers like this to make a loud noise. So I wonder if you can find something at home that makes a loud noise like our clappers, or you could just use your hands. But we are going to sing, Sabbath is a happy day. So go and find something noisy, and then we will come and sing our song. Okay, everyone, have you found something noisy to use like some clappers? Are you ready to sing our song together? Then let's sing, Sabbath is a happy day. Are you ready? Sabbath is a job everyone now normally on a sabbath morning where do we go first do we go to <gasps> we come to sabbath school don't we we come to cradle roll sabbath school so let's sing first we come to sabbath school ready first we come to Good job! 
And then after Sabbath school, where do we go? We go into a different room, don't we? Because then we like to stay for church. That's right. Then we like to stay for church. Then we like to stay for church. Then after church, I don't know about you, do we get a bit hungry? I think we do, don't we? So what do we do after church? We like to have some lunch. So take one of your hands or your clapper and you're going to eat some lunch off that. Are you ready? Then we like to have some lunch, have some lunch, have some lunch. Then we like to have some lunch. I love every Sabbath. Good job. Now, I would like you to stand up and go look out the window. What's the weather like today? Is it raining? Is it snowing? Is it windy? <gasps> is there a thunderstorm? Or is it nice and sunny? Oh, I hope it's nice and sunny. Because if it's nice and sunny, then we can go and take a walk. What do you think? Shall we go for a little walk together? Let's go. Ready? Then we like to take a walk, take a walk, take a walk. Then we like to take a walk. I love every Sabbath. Good job. Now, let's come and sit back down again because I think we should sing Sabbath is a happy day one more time. And I want you to make lots of noise with your clappers. Are you ready? Sabbath is a happy day, happy day, happy day. Sabbath is a happy day. I love every Sabbath. Keep going, keep clapping, keep clapping, keep clapping. Yay, well done. Sabbath is a happy day. Even if we can't be together, Sabbath really is a happy day. Well done for clapping and singing so loudly. Now, over this time, I'm sure there's going to be some people that we can't go and say hello to or give a hug like we used to because we've got to make sure that we stay safe and stay indoors with our families. But if there is someone you would want to talk to, I wonder who that could be. Now, there are ways that you can talk to people. I wonder if you've ever used a telephone to talk to someone. I'm sure you have. Now, who shall we talk to on the telephone? Hmm, I know. Let's talk to Mummy on the phone. So go and grab yourself a phone and let's go and talk to Mummy on the phone. Have you got your telephones? And do you know Mummy's number? Okay, let's type in Mummy's number and we'll talk to Mummy on the phone. Are you ready? I talk to Mummy on the phone, on the phone, on the phone. I talk to Mummy on the phone and she hears me, I know. Say bye bye, Mummy. Okay, now I wonder who we should talk to now. Hmm, well, if we talk to Mummy, why don't we call Daddy? Okay, that's an idea. Let's type in Daddy's number. Ready? Let's talk to Daddy. I talk to Daddy on the phone, on the phone, on the phone. I talk to Daddy on the phone and he hears me, I know. Bye bye, Daddy. Okay, who shall we talk to now? Hmm, we talk to Mummy, we've talked to Daddy. Let's see, how about we talk to Grandpa? Let's call Grandpa up. Are you ready? Type in Grandpa's number. Ready? I talk to Grandpa on the phone, on the phone, on the phone. I talk to Grandpa on the phone and he hears me, I know. All right, say goodbye, Grandpa. Bye-bye. Okay, who shall we talk to now? Well, we just spoke to Grandpa. Maybe we should speak to Grandma. Okay, let's type in Grandma's number. Are you ready? Let's talk to Grandma. I talk to Grandma on the phone, on the phone, on the phone. I talk to Grandma on the phone and she hears me, I know. Bye-bye, Grandma. 
Okay, hmm. Let's think we've got time for one more person to talk to. Let's talk to uh, who's got an uncle. I've got an uncle. Shall we call up uncle? Let's dial in uncle's number. You ready? Let's talk to uncle. Ready? I talk to uncle on the phone, on the phone, on the phone. I talk to uncle on the phone and he hears me, I know. Good job. Bye bye, uncle. Hope you're well. Okay, now. There's one more person I want to talk to, but I don't have their telephone number. So I was wondering if we could talk to Jesus. Does anyone out there have his telephone number? Anyone? There's no telephone number for Jesus? Then how do I talk to him? Wait, we can always talk to Jesus. We don't need a telephone to talk to him because we talk to Jesus when we pray. So let's get on our knees, hands together. Eyes closed, because we talk to Jesus when we pray. Are you ready? I talk to Jesus when I pray, when I pray, when I pray. I talk to Jesus when I pray, and he hears me, I know. And Jesus does hear us when we pray. Now I wonder if it's time for our prayer time. Normally we come together and we sit on the prayer mat, but today we're not together, are we? So I'd like you to go and have some prayer time with your family. I want you to tell your family all the fun and exciting things that you've done with them this week and all the things that have made you happy and that you've been grateful for. Grateful means that you've been really happy for. So I'm going to put my hands together, eyes closed, and I'm going to say a prayer for us. Dear Heavenly Father, I hope and pray that everyone who comes to our Sabbath school and our church is well. And thank you, Father, for protecting them and looking after them at this time. Please be with each and every single family, Lord. I want you to bless them and keep them and look after them and help them to be safe in this time until we meet again in the near future. Help them to have good weeks together and that they will come to know you better in this time that they share together. Thank you, Father, for all that you do. In your name I pray. Amen. Wonderful. Okay, everyone, I think it's time we stand up and we sing our next song. So I'm sure that at the moment, mummies and daddies have been telling you a lot to go and wash your hands. Does that sound about right? Yes, it's very important that you wash your hands. It's important that you wash your hands after you've been to the bathroom, before you eat your food, and especially if your hands are dirty. Now, I want you to go and show your hands to mummy and daddy right now, and let's see if they're clean. Mummies and daddies, are their hands clean? If they're not clean, go and tell them to wash their hands. Because I went and I washed my hands this morning. Can you do this? Can you scrub, 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 scrub? I made my hands so very clean and bright because I've given my hands to Jesus to work for him till night. So we are going to sing, I washed my hands this morning. Are you ready? Get your hands scrubbing, ready? I washed my hands this morning so very clean and bright. I gave them both to Jesus to work for him till night. Little feet, be careful where you take me to. Anything for Jesus, only let me do. Good job! I'm sure you did those actions really, really well. Now, shall we do it again? I'm sure we can get our hands even cleaner. Are you ready? Scrub, 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 ready? I washed my hands this morning, so very clean and bright. I gave them both to Jesus to work for him till night. Little feet, be careful where you take me to. Anything for Jesus, only let me Everyone, I'm sure your hands are so shiny now. Very good job. Now I have a very, very, very important question for us all. Do you think 
that Jesus loves us. Do you think he does? Do you think he does? I know he does. I know that Jesus loves us. He looks after us, even in really difficult, scary times, like at the moment. So how do I know that Jesus loves us? Well, I can tell you somewhere it's written down. It's written down in our Bibles. Because the Bible tells us that Jesus loves us very, very much. Now we are going to sing, Jesus loves me. So can I see your hands ready so we can do our actions? Are you ready? Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Amazing. Jesus loves us so, so very much. But I have a question for you. If Jesus loves us, do you love Jesus? Do you love Jesus? Is Jesus in your heart? How do you tell Jesus that you love him? Well, I tell Jesus in many ways that I love him, but I like to tell him in prayer that I love him. So let's sing, I love Jesus, because I'm sure he wants to hear that we love him too. Are you ready? Hands ready for your actions. I love Jesus, does he know? Have I ever told him so? Jesus loves to hear me say that I love him every day. Yes, I love Jesus. Yes, I love Jesus. Yes, I love Jesus. In prayer I tell him so. And it's so very important that you do tell Jesus that you love him. Of course, he knows that you love him because he's deep there in your heart. But it's very important that you do tell him that you love him and that you tell your family that you love them too. Now, we've come to the time in our program when normally we take up our offering. And that means coming to bring our pennies for Jesus. Now, obviously today you can't come to me and bring me your pennies that we can put in our big pot, but I have some pennies here. These are my pennies and my offering. And I wonder if you could go and get your pennies and put them aside. So next time we meet in Cradle Roll face to face, you can bring me all of your pennies that we can give to Jesus, okay? I've got my little collection pot here that I'm going to put my pennies in. So let's go and put some pennies away and let's sing, Hear the pennies dropping. Are you ready? Hear the pennies dropping. Listen while they fall. Everyone for Jesus. You shall have them all. Dropping, 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 dropping. Hear the pennies fall. Everyone for Jesus. He shall have them all. Good job, everyone. Now I'm going to put the lid on my little penny pot like we normally do in Cradle World. You hear all the pennies in there? That's being saved for when we next go to Sabbath school. So there are our pennies. And I think it's time that we sing our offering prayer. So hands together, eyes closed, and we're going to sing Jesus Bless Our Offering. Jesus bless our offering. Jesus bless me too. Jesus bless our offering. That's all. job now go and put those pennies away so that we can have them together in sabbath school in the near future okay good job everyone now i believe it's time for our story and auntie cecilia will be telling our story today in her home so we are going to go and listen to her now as she tells us about some people who had a very tasty breakfast on a beach good morning boys and girls auntie cecilia here and she's at home telling you the story today instead of church because of this horrible bug going around. I miss you all and I wish I could come and give you a cuddle and say good morning to you. But now I'm going to tell you our story. Now in your lesson books you know your story is about having breakfast with Jesus. Now I want to tell you how it all began. 
Some disciples were feeling a bit miserable and grumpy and so they got in their fishing boat and they went out to catch fish. They fished all night long and they caught nothing, not one fish. Now, their fishing nets looked like this, a bit like this with big holes in it like this, you see? And they would drag the, the fishing net along the side of the boat. Now, I wonder if you could make a boat with me. Let's get some cushions like I've got here and see if you could sit on the floor like me and pretend that we have got a boat. There we go, look. I'm making a boat, so I am sitting in a boat with you and I am going to pretend to be the disciples. Now they threw the net over the left side of the boat and they dragged it along and what do you think? There's nothing in it, nothing at all. Oh dear, all night long they were really, really upset. Then they were starting to come back to shore and they saw somebody on the beach and they called out, have you caught any fish? No, haven't caught any fish. Why don't you put your net on the right side of the boat, which is this side of the boat, and drag it along and see what happens. And they dragged it along and do you know it was full of fish. Now I wished I could have got you a whole bag full of fish. But I've got you a picture of what it would have looked like. Look, that's like their net. And it is full of great big fish. It says in my Bible that there were 153 whopping great big fish. And you know, it was so heavy that all the disciples in the boat just couldn't lift it. They heaved and they heaved and they heaved to try and pull it out over onto the boat. Then all of a sudden Peter realised who was on the beach. It was Jesus and while the disciples were pulling the net across so so full of fish, Peter jumped out of the boat and ran to see Jesus. He wanted to talk to Jesus and Jesus said, Peter let's have breakfast together. And by this time, it took a long time for the boat to come in and Peter was chatting to Jesus and the poor disciples were left pulling all these great big fish in. And on the boot beach, they hauled oh, all these fish and Jesus said, bring me some of those fish. Come on, we will cook them on this fire and we'll eat breakfast together. And Jesus had even bought some bread. That was an amazing miracle for the disciples because they had fished all night long. Then at the word of Jesus, the nets were full. So full that the nets should have actually broken, but they didn't. Jesus is a great man who taught many miracles and showed us many, many things in which way he can help us, just as he helped the disciples. Well, I hope you can make a boat in your living room another time. Next Sabbath, maybe, when we will be repeating the same story. Have a good week, my little ones, and have a good month. And we hope to see you back in our Sabbath school soon. We miss you lots. And we're going to have lots of stickers we're going to have to put on the charts, won't we? Bye-bye for now. Keep safe and keep well. Thank you so much, Auntie Cecilia, for that wonderful story. I really enjoyed that. And I hope you all managed to make really good boats at home. And thank you, Uncle Brian, as well, for recording that for us. Now it's time for our memory verse. So I'm going to teach you what our memory verse is for this month. The first word in our memory verse is B. B, written in yellow. Let's pop that down. Our second word is kind. K. 
kind written in red. Our next word is two, two written in blue. Our next word is one, one written in green. Our next word is another, another written in purple. And our Bible verse is found in Ephesians 4, verse 32. Ephesians 4, verse 32, written in black. Very good. Now, if I hold up our memory verse, let's see if we can read it all out together. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Be kind to one another. Ephesians 4 verse 32. Let's say it again. Be kind to one another. Ephesians 4 verse 32. It's time to sing I'm glad I learnt my memory verse. Now stand up everyone, let's dance, let's clap because I'm glad that we learnt our memory verse. Are you ready? I'm glad I learnt Together. Very good job. We've learnt so much today in Sabbath School. I'm so glad that you were able to join us because we have time for one more song and it's one of my favourites. So I wonder if you can guess what it is from the description. I want you to show me how big God is. Is he this big? This big? This big? Oh no, it's bigger than my phone. Is he? Oh, is he this big? Because my God is so big and he's so strong. Can you see? How strong you can be. I'm not very strong. Can you show me how strong you can be? So strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do for you. So let's sing. My God is so big. Get into lots of space and show me how big you can be. Ready? My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. For you, my God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do for you. The mountains are His, the rivers are His, the stars are His handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do for you. Well done, everyone. That was such a good job. But I think this time, as it's our last song in Cradle Roll today, I think mums and dads, you need to get involved too. I want you to show your kids how big you can be, how strong you can be, and how mighty you can be, because that's how big and strong and mighty our God is. Are you ready? Let's sing one more time. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do for you. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do for you. The mountains are His, the rivers are His, the stars are His handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do for you. Well done, everyone. That was such good effort. Please give yourselves a round of applause. You deserve it. Now, I think it's time to end our Sabbath school. So normally we make a big circle. So maybe try and make a little circle around with your family. And then we can say our closing prayer to end our Sabbath school today. So hands together, eyes closed. And let's say a prayer to end our Sabbath school. Dear Heavenly Father, Thank you that you are looking after us. Thank you that you are keeping us safe. Thank you that you have protected us over the years, that you have provided for us like you did with the disciples when you had that wonderful breakfast with them, like you have with all your children over the world. 
and I ask that you continue to guide and protect us over this time. Please be with our families, look after them, Lord, and hope and pray that we can all meet again soon in Cradle Roll when this is all blown over. Thank you, Father. You are amazing and we love you. In your name I pray. Amen. Our Sabbath school is over. Let's sing. Ready? Our Sabbath school is over and we are going to church. Goodbye, goodbye. Remember God loves you. Goodbye, goodbye. Remember God loves you. Thank you so much everyone for joining us today in Cradle Roll Sabbath School. I had so much fun being with you and I hope that you had fun too. So this program is for all of April and you can enjoy this whenever you want to and I really hope and pray that you are all well and you are all safe and that you had lots of fun today worshipping with me and your families. Please be safe, please be well and I pray that we will see each other soon. Thank you and goodbye everyone. Goodbye and happy Sabbath. Bye. Bye, bye, bye.